Hello folks, this is Rob with MTG Investor and we're taking a look at some of the dragons of Tarkir uh, spoiler cards and right now we're going to take a look at an uncommon. I don't always look at commons and uncommons but if I see something that's interesting that might have some future value then I take a look at it. Uh, and something I see that I like is roast. We got a nice picture of Sidisi being roasted by a dragon obviously there. Um, Sidisi has become Silumgar's pet I think or his vizier um in the new set anyway uh it's a red card though it's not black it's a red and one sorcery it roast deals five damage to target creature without flying so uh the reason why i think this has play is because this card was obviously made to kill rhinos but it has some other applications to it also um, right now it's being listed as a one dollar card it is uncommon uh it's a it's a one dollar card and it's probably going to stay a one dollar card E in the short term you know, while it's in print um, but I'm not really into it because for, for what it is I'm into it but as a foil so I wouldn't mind picking these up a play set of these up uh, when I play I don't I don't play with foils I know if you play foils that's you know that's all good all cool I foils are like um, if I pick up foils it's because I do it for an investment and I, I just don't play with them but um uh, I like to sell them. I like to buy them and sell them and trade them and you know make money off them. But uh, anyway, pick up four of these. I'll pick up a full, a full play set if I can. If I can get them as a dollar, two dollar, three dollar. Um, if I can get them toss ins on trades or something, I want to pick up a play set of these guys because I think this has some modern side sideboard applications. Um, it kills Rhino. Rhino's a standard. Rhino's in modern. And uh, five damage, bam, it's dead. It also kills. Um, well, uh, it doesn't kill the flying uh, tapper in the twin deck, but it uh, kills the exemplar or whatever it's called, the one four guy. It kills him, and it also will kill a goif if you can get a uh, get this right out, out of there before goif grows too much. If goif comes down turn two. This is going to kill the Goyf. Uh, Goyf usually gets to 4-5 and it pretty much sits there unless you can get a tribal or a planeswalker in the yard uh, or an enchantment or something. But like, uh, So this is almost always going to kill a Goyf also and Goyf is heavily played in modern. So for that reason, pick up some foils and sit on them until this rotates out of standard and maybe you're going to see this as a sideboard card um, in the future. Um, I forgot the name of the card. There was a red and one. It does five damage to a blue or white creature. Uh, instant speed. They made it to kill Bane Slayer, but it gets sideboarded to kill uh, the little Exarch in Twin Deck. Also, can't be countered. Um, this could replace that because that card does not kill Goyf. This card kills all those things plus Goyf. Sure, it's a sorcery and it's not, and it is counterable. But if Goyf is getting played turn two, then you don't have to worry about counter. Uh, or if it's been played in junk uh, or jank, then it's it's going to take out Goyf. So anyway, uh, pick up some pick up a play set if you can get them on the cheap, and just stick them in a box and sit on them. Um, I have a box of cards I just buy or trade or sell, you know, or not sell but buy or trade for, and I just sit on them. And a few years down the road, when I think they're at their max value, I sell them. Uh, or I try to trade them for something else I think is going to go up and buy and just increase increase my margin over and over and over and over through the years. So anyway, this has been Rob with MTG Investor, and uh, happy trading.